Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine. The uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience... He's had a goal! There's an early warning shot across the bow. OK, it's come to nothing, but it's a warning of further threat on the break. Towering header! No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Memphis to Pye. That intervention was very necessary. Clears it out of harm's way. Memphis to Pye. Cristiano Ronaldo. It's a fat shape to shoot! He's done very well to get to that. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. And back and forth the clearance. And it's Messi! Oh, that's a terrific save from the keeper. Messi sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Neymar tries to dink it in. Roberto Carlos. That's Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo battles to win it back. Now it's Forlan. Gets the better of his man. What a ball this has turned out to be. Davis goes looking. Yeah. Memphis Depay gets it back. Pellegrini. Defenders on the back foot. He's through, now is he in? Back into the middle. Gerard. And Dyke cuts it out. Messi. Conte. And the finish! Goal! Look, there are always tactical adjustments for any coach to make at half time, but when your star man gives you a critical lead just before the break, everyone will be paying extra attention. It really is the ideal tonic. Jim, your thoughts? Well, it's pretty damning on the part of that defence, Peter, that he was allowed so much. It's half time. Here we are. Off they go for half time. The victory did indeed come in the first half. There has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Not the most convincing of displays. They could certainly do much better than this. They want to keep things simple, build up their confidence, and not rush into mistakes. Back on the way. Paris Saint-Germain need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution. I think the more experienced players can oversee that. And Dijk gets into the right position to intercept. Shoots! And that really is so, so impressive. 
Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fool that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. So the lead now is two. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Mbappe. Steered forward. They've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Memphis Depay tried to play it through. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. Out for a throw. It's come through, looking to... He's had a shot! Got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very safe. Mbappe is the obvious danger man here, and yet he was afforded way too much freedom. I think he was gifted that goal. His reputation should have been warning enough for them. This is threatening to become a really good game. Listen, goals change games, and that has changed them. And Messi! Oh, that is asking for trouble. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Forward it goes. Memphis Depay, whose goal scoring skills have already been evident. Oh, he's broken through. Trap, real chance! Really well taken goal. The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. I think he just thought about trying his look from further out there, but why bother when you can worm your way through a defence like that? It's, it's terrific play to, to get through and score. That's changed the dynamic somewhat. All Black gets it away. Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo needed to come up with a better ball. Encouraged the pass with an intelligent run, but the pass just lacked pace. Goes for goal! And more, and more, and more! And surely that... So that's it, it is all over. Paris Saint-Germain thoroughly outclassed here. They came off against opponents who were better in all areas. No argument. But Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Paris Saint-Germain really were sleepwalking in centre defence, and the alarm just never went off.